Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And we want to find the missing side lengths of, well, this figure. And what we have here, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six sided figure, and all interior angles are congruent. We have some side lengths, seven, six, three, and five. And we have two missing side lengths right here. And we have to determine what those are. So pause this video, see if you can figure out what the missing side lengths are. But as always here, I'm going to show you how to do it, or a way to solve this problem. All right. So like I said, we had one, two, three, four, five, six side lengths. All interior angles are congruent. Good to note. So let's go see if we can figure out what the interior angles are. Well, if all interior angles are congruent and we set a six-sided figure, a hexagon, we know the interior angles add up to be 720 degrees, okay? And there's, well, one, two, three, four, five, six interior angles. Divide that by six, and each one is 120 degrees, okay? So each interior angle measures out to be 120. All right, now with this information, where can we go? One of the things with these types of problems here, geometry problems, is we can add lines and shapes to it, okay? So I'm going to extend this hexagon, these lines here, to make a triangle, okay? So I'm gonna kinda draw into the top here, but I don't think you'll be upset with me on that one. Draw it up here to the intersect, it happens. Boom, to the top there. Continue on, I'm gonna draw down here. A little off. Continue this line here. Don't slide off there, Sean. Good lines are always nice. Let's go erase that extra stuff. Unneeded. Right, it's good enough for government work. And last one here. Let's go set it up. Continue the line across. Bada boom, bada bing. Let me begin. All right. Got that here. Boom. All right, a little bit here. But now we have a triangle, okay? Now let's go back to our 120 degrees inside the hexagon. Complement, or sorry, supplementary angles add up to be 180. So if you have a straight line here is 180 degrees, this is 120, this one here is a 60 degrees. Same thing on this side, 60 degrees here. We apply the same principle down here, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and the same ones in here. Let's go a little, uh, would you like this, 60 degrees and 60 degrees, okay. Now, can we find the missing angles in the corners of each of these triangles? Of course we can. We know all triangles add up to 180 degrees. 60, 60 makes 120, so this one's also a 60 degrees. Same thing happens here, 60 degrees, and again, 60 degrees. So each corner of the triangle is 60 degrees. Now, each one of these little triangles here, huh, if they're all 60 degrees, it's an equal lateral triangle, meaning all of each one of these individual little triangles have the same side length, which means this side length is six, and this one is six. This side length is five, and this one is a five as well. Now here, well, we don't know what this side length here, we gotta find that one, so we don't know what those are, but, Let's give it a label. Let's call this side length A and this one B. What do we know about the big triangle? Again, 60, 60, 60. All side lengths are the same length. So let's go come up with some equations here. The left side length is a six plus a seven plus a length of B. Remember, all these little ones are the same. B here. And then it's gonna be equal here to six plus three plus five which should be equal to the bottom one, B plus A plus five. Right there. All right, well six plus three plus five, what does that come out to be? Well six plus a five, or six plus three is a nine, five is 14, so we have 14 here. And B plus A plus five, let's leave it as such. And six plus seven plus a B, six plus seven, oh, seven plus three is a 13 plus a B. All right, let's focus on just this section here. Subtract a 13 to both sides. And we get a B is equal to a one. So we got one of our missing side lengths right here is just a one. Now let's go find A. 
Again, the equation here, 14, let's go this group, 14 equals b plus a plus 5, b is 1, so 14 equals 1 plus a plus good old 5. 1 plus 5 is a 6, subtract that 14 and we get an 8 equals an a value. So our a value here is equal to 8. And now we found the missing side lengths of our hexagon. Did you get 8 and 1? If you did, way to go. If you did it, well I hope you learned something here and uh, can help help you better solve these geometry type problems. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, this helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always here, thanks for watching.